Season 2 of Foundation picks up 138 years after the event of the first season. Psycho history predicts psycho history. We are empire. History bends to us. But war with empire is inevitable. I know a thousand years can seem like an eternity, but it's the blink of an eye when measured against the whole of human history, and it could so easily slip through our fingers if we're not vigilant. Or a total 173 years since the foundation was exiled. You're exiling us. The first episode of season two introduce three major plot threads. One, mother meets daughter. Two, Harry Seldon trapped in the Prime Radiant. And three, a trouble on the Empire core. At the end of the season one of Foundation, we saw that Gil Dornick wakes up from Cairo sleep on the planet Cynex and finds another life in there. To her surprise, she learns that this is her biological daughter, Selbor Hardin. Season two picks up right from there. Gil and Servo trying to figure out how they ended up together and what is the meaning for the future of the foundation. Servo has vision of the past and Gal can see the future. Perhaps this is what brought them together. Although Gal denies it, using the prime radiant, they see that the second crisis is coming and that will be even bigger than the first. Gal explained that this is the tripped point. If they do not solve the second crisis, it will have a domino effect, making the next crisis even worse and worse until Harry Seldon's plan will no longer work. But first, they need to survive from this storm. They managed to reboot Selvor's ship, but it might not be enough to survive the massive storm. They need Harry's help. But he is not happy right now with Gal at all, especially after she trapped him in the Prime Radiant. There's an old saying, any man can be a success, but it takes a madman to be great. At the beginning of the episode, we see Harry Seldon trapped in a four-dimensional space. He's exhausted and struggling to cope with the memories of his past. Three women appeared to him in his visions. His mother, his life mate, and a poet mathematician named Kali. His mother gives him a clue to escape. Ready object. 2D shadow. His light mate tells him to use his brain to solve the puzzle. You like work. Work it out. Your mind. And Kelly helps him to solve the clue. Your mind is damaged, Harry. It has been damaged for a long time. I am trying to help you. So, what's a boy to do? After that, he Can managed to escape from the Prime Radiant. It is very important to note that this is not the same Harry Seldon who appeared on Terminus. This is a copy of his consequences. And this is why Gal does not trust him completely. We may learn more about this in upcoming episodes. Hello everyone, this is the Tono. It's my first YouTube video. And if you have watched up to this point, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. And that will motivate me to do better. Okay. Let's back to the video. Far, far away from that, on planet Triantor, Cleon the 17th is the emperor of the galaxy. In season 1, we saw Demargel as a mother figure and a guide for all three versions of brothers. But this is the first time we see her as a bed partner. That's kinda weird. Whatever, during that time, they attacked by a group named Blind Angels. This fight scene is very eye-catching and they managed to survive with some heavy wounds. This attack makes this version of the brother did not trust to anyone, not even his other brothers. And we can easily see the effect of the change in their DNA made by the rebels mentioned in the season 1. This day is not as composed and more emotional. His decisions are more individual. Somebody give me a damn blasted robe so my manhood isn't flapping around. Now he wants to start his own family. For all those reasons, brother day suspects his other brothers are trying to kill him to stop this marriage so the clone dynasty can continue and somehow this new bride seems aware of all these cracks between these brothers i think this is a foreshadow of the second crisis but all of those are interred by demersel with new information about foundation 
Empire thought the foundation is vanished with its exile. But the foundation is not really vanished, it's actually growing strong. Brother Dusk suggests to eliminate them once and for all, but Demerzel advised not to strike before proper investigations, as she reminds them about the bombing on Anachron and Thespis. Without proper evidence, destroying a planet would be a bad practice. There are few more things we are going to see in next episode, like Terminus people are waiting for Saldon's return, the poet mathematician Kelly will reappear, and that Cloud Queen probably will going to dominate. But episode 1 ends with a cliffhanger, with Gal and Server in a conflict over whether they should release Professor Harry Saldon. Just as they face this dilemma, he appears at the exact moment. We have to wait for episode 2 to see what he is going to do. I enjoyed season 1 and season 2 starts with a lot of interesting things. I am looking forward to seeing what scenes happen next. Thanks for watching. See ya.